I'm Caroline Bennett. I'm the founder and owner of Moshi Moshi. Um, and we started off uh, Britain's first conveyor belt sushi restaurant in 1994. And sometime later, we discovered the MSC, the Marine Stewardship Council. And we were one of their first certified restaurants in the UK. We're going to be selling our 10,000th MSC dish this month. So this is kind of a celebration. We wanted to kind of make something out of that. And that's why we're here today. It's really important for customers that they know where their fish has come from. The MSC sat us down and said, well, you know, what can we do here? How about getting a little bit of interactive sushi and making that something that the customers can interact with and become more aware of some of the things we're trying to do with the MSC? How the hell do we make this out of sushi? The chefs just kind of look, looked a bit blank, like, sure, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How the hell are we going to do that? The aim is to get diners with their mobile phones just scanning and then instantly being able to find out where the fish is from uh, and be reassured that it's MSC approved. So our fishery certification programme and our eco-label aims to recognise and reward sustainable fishing practices across the globe. This is a really exciting and simple way to let consumers know that they can make a real difference to the world's oceans just by using the MSC eco-label. A little bit too loose. Never mind. Never mind. Our customers, when they come in, they'll be seeing this dish going round and round on the conveyor belt, and they'll be able to scan it with their mobile phones and see exactly where this piece of fish has come from. Whoa! 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 whoa. I'm gonna get that on. Um, big, big fat fail. Yeah, it's not, it looks very pretty, but it's not, it's not going to go. Squid ink? Squid ink, that's a great one. Yeah, squid ink. It's not going to go, it's not going to go. Okay, never mind. It's quite hard work. So what we want to do is print with squid ink on rice paper. Yeah. Which, uh, which is your preference? The smaller the better. Right, okay. See what it tastes like. We found this guy in East London, Chris, who we think might be able to help us with the seaweed and getting laser cutting it. I don't know. I, I, I can't promise anything. I really can't. And with this small size, it's, it's quite difficult. I have done some very interesting materials before, like bullhorn and um, potato starch, but the nori is first. Thank you, John G. That looks, that looks beautiful. Okay. Here we go, fingers crossed people. <laughs> hey!